Hi, welcome back to the main menu game over and pause screen series. Here I'll be showing you how to create the pause screen. So if I show you the example again, as you can see when I press P, the game world is paused at that exact moment and we have this pause animation flashing up on screen and when I press P again, the world continues. So let's get straight into it. So last time we created this folder and we created our game over and our main menu widgets which are these. So that when I press play, my game starts, and when I lose all my health, get a game over. So now we want to create a pause. So like the last time, we're going to go to user interface, widget blueprint, and I'm going to use pause. And from the last one, we're just going to bring in a text. And the text is actually just going to be two lines. You could also use two eyes or anything really. So I'm just going to shake this up and now we're going to need it quite large if we say about 300 and we have our large pause screen give it any color you want i might give it a light blue and then what we want to do is we want to actually set the animation so we go down here to animations add a new one i'm going to cause this pause flash click it and now here we are so what I do, I would go to visibility and press this button so a new keyframe is added. Then I want at half a second, I want the pause to disappear. So I'm going to do hidden, add a new keyframe. And I'm going to go back to one, visible, add a new keyframe. And then add a hidden at 1.5, add a new keyframe and then do the same for two so that when I press loop and go back to the beginning, it loops. Now this last section is important. We have to keep it hidden at two or you can actually make it visible. It doesn't really matter. But we need this last stretch. So if I just re-add that keyframe as visible, go back to the beginning and as you can see, it loops. So there we go, we got our animation and we got our pause screen. And we can easily set this up. And I'm going to use the P button again, just because escape when using this um, actually just closes the viewport you're playing in. So I'm going to do P and I want to check if the game is paused. So we need a new variable. I'm going to call it paused and I'm going to have it as a boolean. Default value is false. So hold B and left click and on release I want to check if the game's currently paused. If it is currently paused then I want to set game paused to false and set paused to false. If it's not currently paused I'm just going to copy and paste then set both of these to true. Now there is one more thing you have to do on this button here P left click it and you'll see this on input execute when paused so if you don't have that ticked when you press p when the game is paused it will have no effect because it's not going to register any keystrokes so now we also want to add our pause so i'm going to create widget my class is going to be pause and I'm going to add this widget to the viewport. So add to viewport with my target being my return value. And then from set up top, I want to remove from parent. And we can just use the return value from here to be the target. Now we need to set up the animation so it actually plays when called. So to do that, we go to graph. And we just want to use this event construct. And we want to simply do is play animation. Animation to play is this one over here. Pause, flash, I'm gonna get that. Set that as my in animation, and then the number of loops to play, you want to set to zero, because as you can see in the tooltip, zero to loop indefinitely. And then we want another event destruct. I want to stop animation. And I want to stop my pause flashing animation. So now when I play my game, and I press P, the whole world pauses and the 
pause is flashing up and down, and when I press P again, I carry on back to normal. So that's a very simple way to create a pause using the third person blueprints and the widget system. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a like. If you didn't, give it a dislike. If your opinions are otherwise, if you have any comments, suggestions, or advice, just leave it in the comments down below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And as always, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks guys.